Have you ever wondered about the quality of water you drink? Do you know what contaminants are in your town that could affect water quality? Water is a necessity for life, but this essential resource can also do significant damage if it is contaminated. The Denver Water Collection System provides water to over 1.3 million people in the city of Denver and its surrounding suburbs. Denver Water uses five mountain reservoirs to collect surface water from streams, rivers, and lakes over a watershed of 3,100 square kilometers. To maintain clean, high-quality water, the system uses more than 60 sampling sites and five treatment plants along various reservoirs and rivers. Unfortunately, due to recent large-scale forest fires, an increased amount of sediments have been washed into the water system. These sediments often contain contaminants that severely diminish the quality of the water. The Buffalo Creek Fire in May 1996 and the Hayman Fire in June 2002 are examples of wildfires that have increased the soil erosion across the watershed. Eroded sediments from fire-scorched zones often contain organic carbon, therefore contaminating the water supply. In addition to forest fires, agricultural activities and mine runoff are of immediate concern. Increased concentrations of source contaminants such as pesticides and nitrates derived from farms have been found in the water. Uranium, which can cause severe health issues if ingested, could possibly be introduced into the water supply by runoff from a local mine. Aware of the threats of contamination and concerns about potential hazards to water quality, the Colorado Water Resources Team and NASA Langley Research Center, in partnership with Denver Water, set out to identify suitable locations for new water quality sampling sites. Only by knowing what threats are most prevalent can an effective monitoring system be established to absorb the potential risk. To accomplish this, data were extracted from the National Land Cover Database and Cropland Data Lair from 2011, which used NASA Earth observations taken from the Sensor Enhanced Thematic Mapper Plus on board Landsat 7. These two datasets were used to evaluate the land cover and cropland data necessary for determining the infrastructure changes to the region since 1996. In addition, topography data were acquired from NASA Advanced Spaceborne Thermal Emission and Reflection Radiometer to construct a digital elevation model. These intermediate products facilitated the evaluation of soil loss potentials for the watershed. With greater soil loss comes greater volumes of contaminants in the water supply. In order to assess the probability of high sediment runoff into the water supply, the Revised Universal Soil Loss Equation, or RUSLI, developed by the U.S. Department of Agriculture, was used to determine the erosion risk in certain areas. The RUSLI equation is depicted as A equals R times K times LS times C times P, where A is the computed spatial average of soil loss over a certain period. This soil loss corresponds to a higher concentration of sediments in the water system. R is the rainfall erosivity, and then the next factor, K, is the soil erodibility. Next we have LS, which is the slope length and steepness factor. Next we have the C factor, which is the crop management factor. The final factor, the P factor, has to do with support management, um, the preventative measures that are taken to prevent erosion. Finally, we ended up with a map showing the variation in the A values, or the end result of the Rusli. High sediment runoff is only part of the story. As mentioned before, agriculture and uranium mines were also taken into consideration. Therefore, an analysis was also conducted ranking the level of potential contaminants and high and low risk. Combined with the Rusli, this analysis gave rise to a map identifying the prime locations for water sampling sites. Water is an invaluable resource, and the creation of suitability maps for water quality sampling sites in which the source contaminants are identified will help improve the efficiency of watershed monitoring for Denver water. After optimal sampling site locations are identified, Denver water will be armed with the information necessary to put together a new plan of action for testing water quality. And this will reduce the cost and time commitment involved in the current procedures. These tools support Denver water's mission to provide high quality water using a resilient and reliable systems.